It's something many in central Arkansas deal with every day. The I-30 construction zone continues to cause headaches for drivers. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Faith Woodard alongside Rolly Hoyt. Yeah, while this construction zone has seen some improvements lately, after a string of crashes over the past few weeks, drivers are asking what more can be done. THV 11's Rebecca Brown spoke to RDOT today to get an update on the process. A headache spot of I-30 turning into much more than that. In the span of just two weeks, multiple accidents have brought east and westbound lanes to a standstill. Now drivers wanting to know, will it get any better? It's kind of rough. I mean, some of the people out here driving don't respect those trucks, so we have to drive for them. Marlon Thomas drives his truck daily through I-30 heading towards Benton, and although he says it's better than what it used to be, it can be frightening to drive through. That area still, it has a lot going on, you know, hence the construction. Uh, I think people just, you know, if they, from 111 to 114, pay extra attention. This construction is a part of RDOT's six-lane widening project for Saline County. Dave Parker with RDOT says they've corrected all of the previous concerns from the public, asking now for drivers to do their part on the interstate. You'll have three lanes here, eastbound, three lanes westbound. We've eliminated all those concerns, the contractor, made adjustments in their, their ways, their practices, and, and really have uh, shown some good work in the last few months. So I'm not sure what else we can do besides get the project done, which we will by the end of the year. As far as the standstill traffic, Parker says this problem applies to any construction zone when an accident occurs. It just takes a while. You, you, know, you only have a certain amount of space. Making it even more important for all drivers to stay focused on the road. Increase your following distance. Try the speed limit, stay buckled up, and focus on the road. Leave them phones alone. Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News. Rebecca, thank you. And there's a live update we've got for you here. Some good news. This lane, these lanes of traffic, that's actually opened up just in the last 24 hours. So if they have another crash right there, at least it won't block the westbound lanes, hopefully. All right. And if you would like to continue to voice your opinion about the roads, you can visit our website for more information.